Um, I know I'm not making many videos like I have been in the spring and summertime. Um, up to a lot of other shit right now. Um, you got a comment asked me on one of my other channels. Uh, you know, they found out that that channel was me. And they found out some other shit that I was doing on that channel. And they asked me, they said, So, how's life going to be in prison? And uh, I think life in prison is going to be fine. Um, I really don't sweat it, you know what I'm saying, uh, to be honest with you. I understand that uh, some of the things I do can be looked down upon, according to the eyes of the law at times. But they are morally correct. So therefore, I'm not really worried. I'm not concerned. It's a non-issue to me. Uh, as long as you're morally correct, that's what matters, okay? Um, I do what I do for humanity, you know what I'm saying? I mean, for people. You know, I don't care about the ridicule. I don't care about the attacks. I don't care about any of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. In fact, I have some fun with some of it some of the times. But it is what it is. It's a, like I said before... It's a non-issue with me. I'm not concerned that the cops are going to come down and cart me off to jail by any means. Um, I believe that I'm well within my legal limit on 99% of the stuff that I do. Um, now, the DDoSing, I understand that a lot of people are upset about the DDoSing, and they're all saying that, you know, that's a terroristic act. And <laughs> Anonymous is a terrorist group. And that just, you know, it shows ignorance of the utmost whenever people make comments like that. How can you turn around and say that DDoSing is, an, is a fucking terrorist attack? Um, there was a video I saw that explained exactly what DDoSing is, and it was fucking perfect. It's like if you're going to a bus station, and people are normally walking in there, and all of a sudden you go in there with a fucking thousand people cutting it through that door the normal people can't get in it's refreshing a page okay you're refreshing a page a thousand times a second a minute whatever it's not disassembling any thing that anybody's created online it doesn't affect their files it doesn't affect um there are software programs, it doesn't affect internal memory, it doesn't affect anything except for the current activity. So, that being said, uh, the more and more they attack people for DDoS attacks, the more brilliant the types of attacks are going to end up becoming. See, right now, they're using DDoS low orbit ion cannon app, right? You can use that easy, right? There's a very good app to use. Um, but, now that that's illegal, they're going to come up with better ways, other ways. See, what they're going to do, they're probably, and I was just thinking outside the box here, I'm thinking they might shut the servers down. See, they're going to go and create real damage later. Whereas right now, all they're doing is stopping people from being able to cycle onto that web page or website or whatever. And, you know, it might be monetary value lost whenever there's a DDoS attack, but to me, that's the same thing that would happen during a power outage. Now, if you look at the fucking electrical grid system of America, it's fundamentally flawed, okay? They have it rigged in such a fucking manner that it will systematically fail. Um, there are other ways they can tweak it, um, I don't know, just another thought outside the box here, but Tesla's fucking free energy idea, you know what I'm saying? You know, you give out free energy. I think that if there were some epic changes in our reality, like, for instance, free energy, then there would be a lot more positive change, and there would be a lot less fucking pissed off people that are randomly attacking others. Now, corruption, you know what I'm saying? Corruption has been a thing forever, ever, ever. And that's something that Anna loves to do is expose corruption. And that's the meat and potatoes of it, for real, is exposing corruption. Now, whenever they call us terrorists for exposing corruption, 
that right there to me proves that the people, the powers that be, are corrupted because all we're doing is exposing the corrupt. So if they're going to call us terrorists for exposing corrupt people, well then the people that are changing the laws and running the laws, they are scared. Okay, they are terrorized. So they call us terrorists. Now, I have to deal with terrorists every fucking day, okay? Every day I deal with terrorists, okay? And by that I mean individuals in my reality that terrorize my life and my reality. Now, I will say, one, I got a problem with the fucking garbage people still, okay? Some of y'all understand that, some of y'all don't, okay? But the garbage collection motherfuckers are pissing me off. Um, they terrorize me. Um, the fucking cops hounding me about shit left and right, you know what I'm saying? Coming up into my house, fucking trying to hunt down my microwave gun and all that shit, looking at my damn tablets, my fucking PCs and all that shit, and leaving without a damn thing. That's terrorizing, okay? That's terrorizing. Do they come up to me and ask me, hey, can we look in your shit? No. No, they come up to me and the fucking street and looked at my shit. Um, and it ain't the fifth time either, okay? This has happened multiple, multiple, multiple times that my house has been ransacked for bullshit. Uh, in fact, one time, they even took apart my fucking DVD player because they thought I was hiding shit on my hard drive on my DVD player. And I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna show my ignorance. I had no clue that there was a hard drive in a DVD player at the time. I had no idea. But they showed me that sure enough it does and let me be aware that I can actually hide shit on my hard drive on my DVD player. But anyways, um, you know, I'm running off tangents, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is the main reason why I'm not making videos right now is because, you know, I'm really not on point, not focused on particular topics, you know what I'm saying, to get perspectives on, you know, I'm just basically vlogging, rant, journal, whatever the fuck, and there's another thing I'd like to point out right there, and here's how my brain works, right, investigative journalists are gone as far as reporters go, as far as media goes, Anon is investigative journalists, period, Okay, we are the investigative journalists. We do investigate. And yeah, we actually have tools where we can get inside people's computers. Now, what's the difference in the anonymous breaking into everybody's computers, looking at their shit, and the government looking at their shit? We are telling you we're doing it, and we're exposing corrupt criminals that are manipulating you. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. To be against Anon is about the stupidest fucking thing in the world. Um, oh. Fuck you, New Anonymous. Fuck you. I hate New Anonymous. Okay, if anybody knows what I'm talking about, New Anonymous can suck my nuts. Okay, they can suck them. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're pieces of shit and they're stupid. Um, Y'all should go look up New Anonymous. And I ain't talking about New Anons, okay? I ain't talking about no new facts. I'm talking about fucking dumb fucks that are fucking manipulative and dramatic as fuck. Um, the asshats New Anonymous keep on posting out these fucking videos, you know, ridiculing old Anonymous. And there's no point in that. There's no fucking point in that in my book. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just because you have a problem with old anonymous, doesn't mean that you can just start posting out videos, you know, ridiculing everybody that's an old anonymous. You know what I'm saying? That's fucking crap. So, I want to send my big fuck you, suck my dick to new anonymous and all those that support it. Fuck you, okay? Um, fucking stupid. Uh, try to give y'all a chance. See, actions speak louder than words. Saw your actions, saw your words, and they all suck. So, fuck you. You're not legit. Um, you're fucking asshats. Um, sin. Oh my god. Now, now, thank god. I fucking finally hit it. Sinister. You're fucking awesome, man. I mean, I've been trying to fucking give a shout out on you, to you on my videos, but for some reason, the videos that I always give you a shout out don't upload. Maybe I hex this one by doing that, right? I don't know. I don't know, hopefully not, I'll try my damnedest, but Sinister, if y'all don't know Anon Sinister is, y'all need to go fucking hunt him down, okay, he's an epic badass, and I'm very proud to have known that this man exists in this world with us, okay, we are honored by his presence on this planet, um, another badass is what I'm saying, um, 
I'm going to go ahead and cut this 10 minute video. Y'all take a light.